Back in Unit 1, you learned how to build an interactive app with a button, the Dice Roller app. But what if you want the user to be able to enter information into the app, like entering text into a text field or choosing a radio button option? In this first pathway of Unit 2, you'll learn how to build an app that does just that. Together, we'll build a tip calculator app that you can use to calculate how much to tip someone for great service. To use the app, enter in the cost of service into the text field. Then decide how the service was. If you thought it was amazing, that will map to a 20% tip. You can even toggle this switch depending on whether or not you want to round up the tip to a flat amount. Finally, clicking on the Calculate button shows you the amount to tip. You'll be writing all the code to create this app. To do this, you'll need a good foundation in some core Kotlin programming concepts. That's why you'll first practice these new concepts in the Kotlin Playground and then jump into Android Studio to build the app. By the time you're done, you'll know how to build an app that takes user input through editable text fields, radio buttons, and switches. These UI components are common among many apps. Next time you're using some of your favorite apps, I'm sure you'll be able to spot them. And soon enough, you'll know how to add this type of functionality into your own apps.